Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can do this car animation in After Effects easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful and without any further ado, let's begin today's video. So here we are in After Effects and also you can see I have already set up a scene with the car vector files which I have downloaded from freepick.com. So here the wheels and car body is separate, wheel separate one. And we got second wheel in separate layer and also the body in separate layer and this shadow and background scene are also in separate layer so if you want to have this rotation of wheel kind for this car animation we need to have the wheel separately so here you can see we got these two wheels separately nice and also make sure the anchor point of the wheels is at the center so if i select this so you can see this is the anchor point so make sure the anchor point is at the center of the wheel okay nice so once this is done first we need to parent these wheels to the body but suppose if i don't parent the wheels to the body and if i move the car so let me show you if i press p and if i move this you can see the wheels are not following the body so we need to parent the wheels and shadow to this body so for that select this wheel one click on this pick whip select this pick whip and drop it onto this body position select this wheel to layer click on this pick whip and drop it onto this body of the car and shadow also we need to make it follow the car so select this shadow layer pick whip and drop it onto this body so if i move the car now you can see the wheels and the shadow is following the car okay so now we need to make the wheels to rotate so for that we won't use any keyframes here we are using a controller that comes with the after effects so i will show you how to do that so let me create a null layer go to this layer options new create a null object fine so i will rename this as control so this is going to be the control so come to this effects and presets if you are not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for slider slider select this slider control and drop it onto this control layer okay so now let me get up now expand this control option effects slider okay now select this wheel one press r on the keyboard for rotation we need rotation so press r on the keyboard for rotation now hold alt key and click on this stopwatch now click on this pick whip tool and drop it onto this slider and hit enter okay so again repeat that step with this wheel two so select this wheel two press r hold alt key and click on the stopwatch kind pick whip and parent it to slider and hit enter okay so we need to do that for body also for body we need to parent the position for the slider so select this body of the car press p right click on this position and we need to separate this x y dimensions so click on this separate dimensions now select this x position because we will be moving in x axis only so select this x position hold alt key and click on the stopwatch now pick whip and parent it to slider of this control okay now hit enter fine so come to this control here we will get option to increase the value of this slider so now you can see if i play with the values of this the car wheel will be rotating so if you feel the rotation of the wheel is slow we can increase the speed so come to the expression here just click on that hit on multiply and enter a number so here i will apply this two number and hit ok so you can see the difference between the rotation of wheel one and wheel two wheel one is rotating fast wheel two is rotating slow so this will be a manual kind of thing we need to set the value that suits better for your scene so i will leave it to none only now so that both the wheels will be rotating at the same speed okay so now let's animate this one so be on the first frame enable a keyframe for this slider and let me bring the car here like this okay so now move four seconds forward in timeline and let me bring the car at the center so i think at this position is fine okay so 
select both the keyframes press f9 to easy is them now click on this graph editor and change the graph to like this so let me change this one this indicates that our car will slow down smoothly i think this is fine okay so if i play this you can see it comes and slows down smoothly nice so now move forward in timeline like one and a half second enable a keyframe here once again now move to the last frame and now change the value here so i think 100 minus 350 okay and now let me see so in this way we can do this car animation in after effects easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye